Hey, what's up my web development friends? I hope you are all doing super well. This is Taylor with Coding for Tacos and today I'm going to try to explain what headless WordPress is with some examples in three minutes or less. There's been a lot of chatter recently on the interwebs about headless WordPress and for a good reason. Uh, I think it's very, very cool. But when I first heard the term, I really didn't understand why it was called that, even though if someone had explained to me very simply how it worked, I, I would have understood. I, I, I knew about all of the technologies, but headless WordPress, that just didn't make sense to me. So let's get started. If you're watching this video, you probably already know a bit about traditional WordPress. Traditional WordPress uses PHP and it uses PHP to generate the HTML for the web pages that you see on any WordPress site. Well, with headless WordPress, you don't have to use PHP to generate the front end of your website. You can use the WordPress dashboard, uh, the same as always, and you can use that as the back end of your website and you can connect it with a React app, an Angular app, you can connect it with a mobile application, and things like that. It really opens up a whole lot of other opportunities for WordPress development. What I'm trying to say is that with headless WordPress, just like any other headless CMS, you're just using WordPress and the WordPress dashboard for the data. The front end can be anything. So say that you want to build a website using JavaScript, maybe Angular or Vue or React, you can get that data from the API, which is very common with those types of applications. They're called single, app, single page applications. You can get the data from the WordPress REST API. And if you're not familiar, a REST API is just a way to transfer data between the server and the browser. And don't worry, I'm about to show you what I mean. Okay, here we are on my friend Rob's website. It's a WordPress website, and you can do this on any WordPress website. Let me show you. I'm going to paste it in because I always forget how, how to just type it out from memory, but you can Google it. I Googled it a few minutes ago. It's WPJSON WP V2 slash posts. And we're going to check out Rob's posts. Notice how the first one is about alternating uh, multiple divs using jQuery's hide and show methods. Let's take a look. Here we have the JSON that's coming from the REST API for the website. And look. Here is the title of his first post, how to alternate multiple divs. Well, pretty cool, huh? And you can, as far as I know, you can do this with any WordPress website. So feel free to visit your favorite WordPress website and check it out. And, and you can see the JSON data. So if we wanted to, we could probably build an application and query those posts from the WordPress website to display them on our application. So really, it's not that headless WordPress sites don't have a control center or a head, it's that they're detached from one another. Normally, one part lives on one server and one part lives on a totally different server. And I'll show you another example of that right now. It's my portfolio website. I'm working on it, so feel free to critique it if you'd like. twilkinson.com, and this is a Gatsby or React front end that uses WordPress for the back end. And if we take a look at my code editor here, which I have open, you'll be able to see what I mean. Now, this Gatsby is a little different because it uses GraphQL, uh, but same, same concept, it's still headless. You can see down here, I'm using GraphQL to get all the WordPress posts. So I'm trying, I'm just getting all the WordPress posts, the ID, the title, the slug, the excerpt, and all of that. And then I'm using JavaScript uh, or Gatsby JS to output them here and control them. So really this is a single page Gatsby application, but all of the posts are coming from a WordPress backend. I use the WordPress editor to, to write these posts. So that is headless WordPress in a nutshell. I think I went over my three minutes, but headless WordPress is where you're using WordPress and the WordPress dashboard for at least one of the data sources for your application, whether that be a mobile application or a front end JavaScript application or something like that. Thanks so much for watching and leave me a comment down below if you found this interesting or helpful. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time.